Fifth grade, lesson one, compare fractions and decimals. Unlock the problem. The Tech Club compared the weights of three cell phones. About the Stadium's phone weighed four and seven tenths ounces. Jill's phone weighed four and three fifths ounces. And Mona's phone weighed four and thirty-five hundredths ounces. Who's, who has the phone with the lightest weight? You can use the number line to compare fractions and decimals. Remember, greater values on a number line lie further to the right. How can you identify the number with the least value? So what are we going to do? So if they said that the one to the farthest right has the greatest value, the one to the farthest left has the least value. So that would be one. Compare the values on the number line. Locate some benchmark benchmark decimals four, four two five hundredths, four and five tenths, four and seventy five hundredths, five and so on are marked. Bench mark mixed numbers four and one four, four and one fourth, four and one half, four and three fourths, and five, and so on are marked as well. So basically they're saying each one of these benchmarks decimal wise goes up by five hundredths, right? So they marked where four and thirty-five hundredths um, was, they marked where four and seven tenths was, and then on the top with the mixed numbers, they marked where four and three fifths was. So mark the weight of each cell phone on the number line, find the location, and so they did those, right? Since four and thirty-five hundredths is less than four and three fifths, and four and three fifths is less than four and seven tenths, Mona's phone is the lightest. Try this. Compare one fifth, five eighths, and two tenths. Which number has the greatest value? Mark each value on the number line. So they went ahead and marked one fifth for you. They marked two tenths for you. And they marked five eighths for you. So do one fifth and two tenths carry, um, cancel each other out? Yes, because they're in the exact same spot. So which one's the greatest? Five eighths. Explain how you decided. So what did we say? One fifth and, and two, two tenths, tenths are equal. So they kind of cancel each other out. And then um, that means five eighths is higher, right? Okay. Share and show. From one through two, identify the points on the number line. Then write the greater number. Point A as a decimal is what? 0 0.7 or 7 tenths, right? Because these, like we said, go by what? 5 hundredths, right? So 5 hundredths less then 75 hundredths would be 70 hundredths or 7 tenths in simplest form, right? Okay, so then point B as a fraction, so we know that 25 hundredths could also be written as what as a fraction? One fourth. One fourth as a fraction, or it could also be 25 hundredths, which in simplest form would be one fourth, right? Okay, so which one is greater, 7 tenths or one fourth? Seven tenths is greater. Locate each number on the number line, then complete the sentence. So fifty-five hundredths, where would that be? One tap right after five tenths, right? So there's fifty-five hundredths. Okay. Two fifths. Where would two fifths be? Where would two fifths be, guys? Well, let's look at it this way. If we converted that to a decimal, we'd have to take five times what? 
20, right? So whatever we do on the bottom, we have to do on the top. So 2 times 20 would be what? 40, right? So 40 hundredths would be where, guys? Two tack marks in front of 50 hundredths, right? Or five tenths. So this would be what? Okay, what did you just say that would be? It, well, we said 40 hundredths because we converted two fifths to 40 hundredths. But what would it be? Two fifths. And then we have 46 hundredths. So where would 46 hundredths be? Just a little bit past this tack mark that's 45 hundredths, right? So that would be 46 hundredths. So the number with the greatest value is 55 hundredths. On your own, locate each number on a number line, then complete the sentence. So you guys are going to do this with your partner, and then you guys can use this number line up here above, okay? So um, you guys will just have to mark your spots and then remember what you're using to compare, okay? All right, you guys can go ahead. Problem solving, Hannah made seven tenths of her free throws in a basketball game. Abrea made nine tenths of her free throws. Dina made three-fourths of her Free throws. Who has who was the best shooter? Explain. So let's look at this. So should we basically just make them into decimals? Yeah. Okay, so let's say let's draw a line because seven tenths is equal to seventy hundredths, right? Nine tenths is equal to what? Guys, what would that be equal to in hundreds? Ninety hundreds. And three fourths is equal to what? Seventy five hundredths. So, who had the best percentage? Abra. So, Abra. Had the greatest amount made. And then we'll put Abra here. 